Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Evie with Evie Reviews. Uh, once again, we're back with the jump off. All right, so like I was saying, we're back with the jump off. Pardon the interruption, I got a phone call. It was about food, so it was important. Um, so this is going to be my review and recap of the Circle Atlanta season one, episode five. It's called He Said, She Said. Now, last one we left off, we was in the midst of dramatizations between Melly B and Baby Girl. Uh, 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 Julia Jim. <laughs> so we going to see what happened. And they was called, listen, it was ugly. It was real ugly. We're going to see what happens. Let's jump into it. That was a lot. That was a whole. So. Oh God. So we jump right back into the mo uh, uh, Jewel and my, uh, 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 Melly B situation. And then that isn't resolved. They just said, we just not go. We just going to dead it. We just not going to talk to each other more. We be done with each other. And then small pop-offs happened about Dante was like I just wanted to say I want to clear up the fact that I never said that Mark Melly B was unattractive and I don't know it was a bad game of telephone that got back and 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 that made sure that was cleared up and then Rico said well since we clearing up shit let's clear up the fact that um I heard that y'all were talking y'all were giving descriptions about me that was inaccurate and blase bloom and i t telling people that i'm drama field and all these other things and i was like oh oh we're gonna do all the things today okay and so they clear it up and um Mar Mar kevin and rico have to have a private conversation about what happened that night because Rigo said he felt disrespected by Tevin and his plus one. The plus one was four, if, if you were unaware. Um, and so, Bulato had said she had to run to the bathroom. And Martella is talking about, oh, you waited for Mulatto to run off to the bathroom to be like she's the one who told me. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Sure. If you say so, love. I don't, listen. Okay. All right. I don't think that was the case. I, I don't think that was the case, but I wasn't there, so who knows. Uh, but, yeah, everybody seems to have come to some type of meeting of the minds at the end. Um, Eugene talked about he not going to play Peacemaker. You shouldn't have You shouldn't have tried it. First of all, your time was made. You're not a good, you're not a good mediator, love. I, I know you think you are. And I know you think you have good conflict resolution skills. Those are inaccurate. If you do not, don't do this again. It's like, first of all, it should have never been. Excuse me. Listen, it is what it is. You should have never started this conversation to try and resolve the conflict between Melly B and Baby Girl with everybody present. You should have took them two aside because them two had the issue. Take those two together. Take them separately somewhere and resolve the conflict between the two of them. You never should have did it in front of everybody because now because that was just messy. So Chill. These children like I feel like it's a mess. And again I say Cash is on his own TV show. Wait a damn minute. So with all this fucking conflict and people aren't getting shit <laughs> Tevin says Ooh, Dante Q, let me pull him to the side and ask him on a date because I love love. And let's see what happens. I'm going to shoot my shot. So while everybody argue, when you look at Dante like, ooh, he a snack. Mm, I can't. Let me, let me go over there and talk. Mm, but let me, oh, I don't know what these niggas talking about, but that one. Yes. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even mad. I'm not. Shoot your shot, baby. That ain't even last five minutes. <laughs> it didn't even last five damn minutes. Are you serious, right? Oh, Dante. Oh, Dante apparently is a fuckboy. Uh, he on that bullshit. He talk about Okay, so Dante is on his fuckboy shit. He 
So Tevin says, oh, I would like to take you out on a date if you're, you know, available, blah, blah, blah. And they have a cute little, little small talk conversation about, he's like, yeah, you know, going to a drive through seems, and she was like, and Tevin was like, oh, that's cute. And he was like, yeah, he was like, are you bringing things? And he was like, what things? And she was like, you know, lick, I keep calling her she, I'm sorry, Tevin. He keeps saying like liquor and da, 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 da. And he was like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, we gonna just drink and smoke and turn up. He's like, maybe get a little head pause press pause nigga this is the first day. first of all you don't even know my name good what you mean head in the car at the drive that could be your end goal but you don't say that out loud before we even solidify us going on a date and then Melly comes and you know he doesn't know what's going on so he comes over and sits down and and he hears part of the conversation and apparently Dante had made the same overture to Melly B about going to the drive-in and they talk about oh well we just friends and Melly B was like what's going on and she was like he just talked about he wanted to take me on a date possible they go on a date and he was like oh okay so this has nothing to do with this I, let me go mind my business and then it was like no sit down it's not that you know it's not a deep and he was like oh no we some, then he was like then Tevin found out that Dante made the same overture to Melly B. He was like, uh, and Melly B is supposed to be your friend. And you just, that's what you do. You just make an overtures for Roadhead in, at the drive-in with your friends. Is that what you do? He's like, that's what, you know, we just want to hang out and turn out. And that's what he considers turning child. <sighs> Dante is always the quiet ones that be on the function. Now see him. Now Mulatto got an attitude. For no fucking reason at all. I guess because it's Tuesday. Because what she mad about is nothing to be mad about, daughter. Because you dropped my motherfucking name while I wasn't there. He wasn't trying to drop your name at all. But he got pushed into a corner and you went to pee while the conversation was happening. So... Your name would have been dropped whether you were there or not. So I don't understand why you're upset. What are you? What are you upset about? And then talk about. I don't fuck with that. That's the quickest way. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Sure, daughter. If you say so. This woman really said she might quit the show because of it. She gonna quit the show. For what? For why? That doesn't even make any sense. Or don't make not a not a lick of sense. I guess it makes sense to you. Do whatever. We fine if you go. It's it's okay. And then they talk about Melly talk about he don't like arguing with girls and stuff. And Lotto was was hollering and talking about being a black woman in the midst of the argument, which I don't. I didn't get that either. I didn't get it either. You was a black woman when you started the argument, so I don't. Um, if that argument's not given what it's supposed to have gave, so oh no. I digress. Let's move on. So, we spent some time with Markel and his other boyfriend. I don't know his name, and they have this whole conversation. on. the only thing I got out of that whole scene with Martel and his boyfriend is that his boyfriend is cute. That's it. That's all I got. They could have said a whole bunch of stuff. I ain't hear none of that shit. They got a dog and the boyfriend is cute. That's it. The end. <laughs> okay, so we took a sharp left turn into the cash show uh, that he's on by himself. Like, there's no... The cash has its own reality show within this show. Still. No interaction. Episode 5. Um... We see some more into Martel's life and how his throuple situation works. Um, meh. That's really how I feel about it. <laughs> they just talking mundane life things, supporting each other, him dropping his mixtape, all that stuff. Okay, so Rico and... Mulatto and Tevin 
have a conversation. They hash out all of their irrelevant issues because their issues are non-issues. It didn't even make no sense. Mulatto didn't even have a reason to be angry. But I digress. They hashed it out. Everybody is good now. Talk, she talk about boundaries. Don't drop my name if you're not in my presence. Okay. It's going to happen again. So I'm like, I don't, it's just the nature of conversation. Okay. Sure. And Tevin apologized for the boy being just dis feeling disrespected because he was disrespectful. So, that being said, uh, that's how the episode ended. Um, I I've got it from I've got it from the Circle Atlanta the Circle brand themselves that the episodes will now be coming out more regularly and all that, and they're keeping up good com communication because we don't want an unstable hustle situation. But that being said, this is my review and recap for the Circle Atlanta episode number five. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a kid. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.